Before immediately diving into the code, it might be good to perhaps explain how most of these text-based adventure games work. The interface is text after all, and we have to think about what typical commands a user might give. In text-based adventure games, a very typical command would be, hey, let's look at the room that we're in. Another very typical command would be something like, pick up the key. If we've seen a key in the room, then we'd like to be able to pick that up. And another command we have to implement is something along the lines of use the key on the door. If I look at these commands and what they do, then we can say, well, these are all separate intents. We have an intent for looking around. We've got another intent to pick up items. And we also have one to use items. We should also be aware of the fact that we have entities. What are we looking at? Well, the room. What are we picking up? Well, the key. And if we're using items, then typically we have the item that we are using and the item that we are applying it to. And these are all entities that we have to detect. Now, we also have to think about the inventory system that's behind this, after all, if you're going to use the key on the door, you first need to pick it up. But I hope that at this phase, we do already recognize that the machine learning stack inside Araza can already definitely help us here. What we need to do is we need to implement these common text-based adventure commands as intents and entities inside of Araza. So this is the first thing that I'm going to implement. I'm just going to implement these intents and I'm going to confirm that these can be detected. So what I've got here is a new project in Visual Studio Code. I have a virtual environment with Raza installed. And for now, I'll be using Raza version 1.10.3. And next up, I'm just going to run Raza init to get a project going, and I'll make changes from there. Raza init has just ran, and that means that I can go ahead and make some changes to my data files. I'll start with this nlu.md file. And what I'm going to do is I'll just replace most of these intents with intents that I think are relevant. So there's one intent for looking around, another intent for picking up items, and another intent to use the item. And what I'll do now is I'm going to fill in all of these intents with examples. But as far as entities go, I'll just assume a simple room with just a few items in it. Let's say that there's a door which you're trying to open. Let's also say that there's a window that you can look at. And I think what I also want to have is some sort of box that when you look at it, you'll recognize that there are two items in there. And I figure a key to open the door. It's a simple puzzle, but hey, that's a good starting point. And maybe let's also add a poster. And the reason why I like the poster is that I might be able to make a little joke that refers to adventure games that way. So what I'm now going to do is I'm gonna come up with examples using these entities and I'm gonna put them right there. So there we go. It's not a whole lot of examples, but maybe good enough to get started with. For the intent look, I've come up with a couple of variants. For the pick up intent, I've come up with a couple of variants. And for the use, intent, I've also got a couple of combinations of entities going, so that's good. And what I can do now is I can run the Raza train NLU command. And when I do this, I get a trained model. And this model will focus only on the NLU part of my data set. So this model will be able to look for intents and entities, but it will ignore the stories.md file for now, which is fine. And it's a nice point in time to just quickly train a model, because I just want to confirm that this setup works. And now that we have a model that is done training, I'll just clear the terminal real quick. I'll make the terminal just a bit bigger. And what I should be able to do now is run Raza shell and only the NLU part. And this should allow me to play around and see if I get the right intents and entities detected. So I could say something like, I want to look at the window and indeed the look intent is the one that it's detecting and it's also able to give me the window as an entity so that works 
And I suppose as a final example, just to check, if I were to write, use the key on the door, if I were to run this and scroll up once more, we now see that the use intent is indeed detected. And we also see that both the key as well as the door are detected as entities. So I would argue this is a nice little milestone. It seems that Raza can indeed handle these basic text adventure commands, as well as detect some of the entities that are in them. And again, the goal here is to have a good starting point. But I will argue that this works well enough for me to move on to the next part.